What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Super Galaxy video. We're playing through three galaxies. This time, another three one star galaxies. They're doing the trials of galaxies. Hope that's what you've been waiting for for a long time since I got all three green stars from previous videos. Without further ado, happy 15th anniversary to Super Galaxy, and let's collect those three stars. First, got mail from. Out mail toad. Five one ups. The uh, orange probably take you back, so. So uh, we're gonna start with this green one. The bubble blast galaxy, yes. Going there first, and then the electric labyrinth. Labyrinth. Oh, it's gonna be a tough maze to go through. Hopefully, I get through there one shot. Otherwise, it will not be good. Okay. There's five pipes. I already go. Doesn't matter which order you do. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna worry about this anyway. We'll just focus on getting to start. Go. I take a long time back there and then Just got to time everything right I'm not gonna be excited about getting those in but you'll probably get star bits with this I get it here since it's easy to grab. Or a pile of coin. I'm not gonna get all of them, it's just focus on that in my path. Try to be very precise. Each one of them face different obstacle. Yeah, I kind of. There's one galaxy I lose many lives when I first play through this one. I said these galaxies are harder to get. Just gonna, I'm not going to rush it, I'm just going to take my time. Like I said, I'm not going about grabbing those anyway. Whoa, uh, that was like a close one. We'll grab Starbucks along the way. Here we go. Got one more up top here. Like I say, you don't have to do the exact order that I'm doing, but you do whatever you want to do first. Each one you can face you a different obstacle. It's just so coins is like what path you can take. It might be easier for beginners that you can take the right path. The path to take. Now the blast is the other part. 
I would go through this maze now. Dumb. I'll say there's like a final like part of the galaxy. The worst part is, boy, just try to get off your back. Yeah, why not grab it? Did another one. Got get through there like. Avoid drawing attention to the bullet bills. Just <laughs> got another one. Got a loser somehow. I don't want to chase that. <laughs> That's why you got to lose a bullet bill right away. It's a demonstration. That's why this one's harder because you gotta get the bullet bill off your backs. And don't do about that. I don't lose no life here. Just try to stay out of view. This is why I try to stay out of view. There you There's two more to go. Like I said, this is one of the hardest ones. Hardest ones? Gizmo? Okay. Gizmos, gears, and gadgets. This is where I had to roll that bowling ball. Do there. It's gonna be harder than the first time you use it. Size. Like here is like an Easter egg here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh,
Gotta be careful on these ball bombs. So we're almost in the obstacle. I use that to elevate me, get the... Okay, we'll safely move along with it. Then go. I used to lose many lives in this one, but good thing I didn't. Now... Let's try to be more careful. Yes, got one more star to collect. Okay, one more star. Uh, I guess the next one will be a fun one. <laughs> Swoop. Uh, similar to the Galaxy Way race. I'm not gonna blur out of him, but the Galaxy's greatest wave. I'm going to race up again, but this time it'd be more extreme. Because a big drop. There's a big loop and it's got a big drop. Oh. Are you talk to the coach? You again, but more way something? This course a monster, you sure wanna try? Yes. Okay, you got three minutes to get back here. Stay calm stay calm and just enjoy the surf. Me for the hey, look. Uh, try to me. What me through that? I got like a minute and a half. Uh, well, there's a tear dog in that life that we just want to get through this. We're not the loop yet, but we got like a very thin part of the track. That I'm trying to be precise, be careful with, because I don't want to like. Uh, oh yeah, I'm wasting uh, Now I'm going to loopy loop. Fall. Let me know the comments you can beat this time. Wow, make me want to race time. Nice. That's not easy time to get on this course. Well, hey, I may want to see you, so drop in and say hello. <laughs> Yeah, I can do that on a roller coaster. What make that makes sense is how come the water goes up? Uh, plus, I know how the water goes loopy loop already. <laughs> Something does not quite make sense in this course, but uh, oh, oh. but this course like this is fun.
I say we go to the library. For go to the library and read a bedtime story. I guess I say we should do that now. You have this a library, yeah? So why not? Duo. Storm begins a very long, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a star, small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asks the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on the comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. I'll wait with you. you the little girl promised Luma. <laughs> At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still, the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? Well, Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set a sail and stormy star into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother begins. The spaceship looks like a mushroom ship. Two star bits. Days pass with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it that it was going to take a fist long, I would have packed more jam. Said a little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea, but... I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter and then the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bids, I'll be fine. See Luma, want some? Look. Little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. We continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. All right, maybe it's just a nibble. Leaning far out of the spaceship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. Starbits tasted like honey. Hmm. The comet. A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping new light awake and shouted excitedly, We had to get to that comet. <laughs> the pair descended on the comet and found that it was made of ice. It looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look. Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the little girl suddenly noticed the clutch of star bits er encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma Bimi. There's ice here. Here, but it's so warm. I bet, though, there's water here, too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Running that turquoise comet, the pair continued to their search for the Luma's mother. Three, chapter four. 
Here's your voice of Lena. It's the blonde one. One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked. Her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you, like the sun, the day, and moon in the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What, what about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp tears. You have star bits in your eyes. Me said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh mama, why? Prepare to travel through the starry skies. Oh, sorry. Kind of thought, though they countered many other comets. Now, one of the held, one of them held Luma's mother. Luma so it's despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away. If you keep crying, the girl said, "Give Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop." The girl closed her eyes and said gently, "I'll take care of you." With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Home. The kitchen will go over here. And the library will go over there. The girl said busily to herself, We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. They were tools and furniture unlike any, any they had ever seen. And the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With the library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, it was certainly spacious, but still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully, indeed the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny in close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Six friends. Then one day while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another Luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two Lumas neither knew, neither drew closer nor back away from each other. Instead, they just starred. Then one Luma broke the silence. My mama? Mama, at once, the apricot Luma parroted back. My mama, my mama, my mama, my mama. <laughs> The two Lumas began to dance around, around the girl frantically and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. But that's when something very strange happened. Suddenly more Lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. And they were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama. <laughs> The sight of all the shouting Lumas only made the girl laugh harder. 
What am I going to do with all these children? Boomus just stared blankly and she doubled her laugh. I mean, okay, I guess we'll have to name each other, every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would be begin moving all the Lumas into her new house. Let's have go. After seeing their 100th comment, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into the sight. Into sight, it was smaller than a star bit. How strange! It's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope. And and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. To me, even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. I remember rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up to up that hill to look at the stars. <laughs> she remembered how she and her brother were sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now. Oh, her face with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all, all along that she wasn't out there in the sky because, because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. The girl's cries echo through... The stars and a hush fell over the area. Let's do it for today. I see the scenery of the library. I'm not going to read it again. I see how many chapters are there. I feel like there's eight chapters, but. If there's an 8th chapter, I'll include in the video. <laughs> anyway, that's to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you get, enjoy, get the backstory of Rosalina. See where she came from. Uh, I feel like it's a good thing to add to the game. Because Rosalina has released a new character for this game. But it's like get the backstory of her, where she came from. Same thing with all of them us. If you like this video, or you do click the like button. If you're new here, subscribe and turn on notifications so don't miss out my future uploads. I appreciate that. If you want to shout out my videos, plus discount merch store, plus CBS on below Patreon, link description below. But I'll send out a Discord server, the link to my Discord server. If you support my Patreon, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.